Hello everyone. Today I am going to deal with the theory technique as discovery by Mark Scorer. Let's see about the author. Mark Scorer is an American writer, critic and scholar. He is best known for his work Sinclair Lewis and American Life. He is also the author of many short stories which appear in magazines such as The New Yorker, Harper, The Atlantic Monthly and Esquire. In addition to his scholarly work, he also co-authored a series of science fiction and horror stories with writer, publisher and childhood friend August Derleth. According to Mark Scorer, Technique is the most significant thing for a writer as it is the only means the writer has of discovering, exploring and developing his subject. Then he speaks about the role of the critic. Mark Scorer says that a critic's role is not to look much at the content of the writing but look at the technique of the writer since it is the technique which makes the writing what it is. He says that the same content can take up different shape based on the technique. Here he explains how if the technique is right, then the work of art succeeds. And if the technique is not right, then how it is forgotten very quickly, even if the content is very significant. Mark Scorer says that while reading a literary text, a critic should look at how far the technique of the writer suits the purpose of his writing. He says that when one talks of writing literature, the language or the technique is more important than the content. How one says things becomes the style of the writer and it is this what defines what the literary text means. In order to explain the importance of technique, Monk Scorer gives an example of Shakespeare's play. Most of William Shakespeare's plays are not original. They are borrowed from some different stories. But still, today when one thinks of these stories, no one thinks of the original stories, but people think in terms of Shakespeare's play. Say for an example, As You Like It is borrowed from Rosalind. The popularity of the text of Rosalind is not much in comparison to As You Like It. His works are immortal primarily because his technique was so sound that even today people find it important to read his works to understand the world and the human nature as well as for the purpose of entertainment. Then he focuses on the works of three 20th century novelists. They are H. G. Wells Tono Bungay, D. H. Lawrence Sansan Lovers and James Joyce, a portrait of an artist as a young man and Ulysses. The reason for choosing these three novels are all three are considered a great piece of literature from the 20th century and all three are to some extent autobiographical in nature and all three are modernist in trying to present the modernist. In this essay, Mark Scorer says that even though all the three novels are considered to be the great pieces of literature, they are not received in a similar fashion by the people because all three novelists use completely different techniques. Then he detailedly explains all the three novels to discuss how they are different and how H. G. Wells and G. H. Lawrence could not achieve much because their techniques were not up to the mark. While Joyce is still remembered as canonical as he mastered the technique and made justice to its material through this technique. Mark Scorer first discusses H. G. Wells' tone of Bagai. He says that H. G. Wells held no grand opinion about the significance of technique in writing fiction. He says that H. G. Wells had enormous literary energy but never showed any respect for the techniques as he himself says that I have never taken any very great pains about writing. About Tono Bangai, Mark Scorer writes, H. G. Wells gives us in the end not a novel but a hypothesis, not an individual destiny but a theory of the future. Then Scorer explains D. H. Lawrence's sons and lovers. Here he says that D. H. Lawrence believed that novels have a great therapeutic function as he says, 
one sheds one's sickness in books repeats and presents again one's emotions to be master of them scorer feels that the reason for the failure of sons and lovers is because lawrence does not give importance to the technical aspects of the novel scorer feels that lawrence personal life interferes with the characterization and that is the reason for the failure of the novel then scorer explains his third novel james joyce a portrait of the artist as a young man and ulysses this is an autobiographical novel where the young artist alienation from his environment is represented by the author here the theme is explored and evaluated in three stages as stephen the protagonist of the novel moves from childhood to boyhood into maturity a very highly self conscious use of style and method defines the quality of experience in each of these sections here mark scorer states that the opening pages are written in something like the stream of consciousness of ulysses but this style changes very soon as the boy begins to explore the surroundings and as his sensuous experience of the world is enlarged it takes on heavier rhymes when we read this novel the reader will get more satisfaction it is because its author held an attitude towards technique and the technical scrutiny of subject matter thus through james joyce mark scorer shows how if a writer has discovered the right technique then it can help him in developing the subject matter and convey its meaning fully which the reader will find it easy to grasp that's all about the essay technique as discovery thank you so much for watching